I.O., we're going to solve some systems of equations using elimination. So what does that mean? It means we're going to add or subtract this equation so that we cancel out one of the variables. So in this case, when we add 4x to x, we get 5x. We add y to negative y, that goes away. When we add 4 to 6, we get 10. So the idea is to eliminate the y. So we get x, when we divide both sides by 2, we get x equals 2. And so now we can just remember x equals 2 and go back and use this equation and say, I know x equals 2. So 2 minus y equals 6. So I can say negative y, I subtract 2 from both sides, equals 4. I can say y equals negative 4. So it should be 2 comma negative 4. Okay, let's do the same here. So let's add these together. And these will add up to 5x. These will go away. Get 5x equals 10. Divide both sides by 5. We'll get x equals 2. Let's remember that. Remember x equals 2. I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. So if x equals 2, we'll go ahead and put a 2 there. That'll give us 8. We can use either of these equations. I'm just using the top for because I feel like it. 8 plus y equals 4, which will give us y equals negative 4. So that gave us x equals 2, y equals negative 4. Okay. Uh, we're going to solve using substitution, right? So here we're using substitution. That means we don't add or subtract these equations. We leave one. We solve for one variable in terms of the other. So we can say x equals 7 minus 5y. And then we plug this into here. So we get 7 minus 5y plus 6y equals 8. So that will give us 7 plus y equals 8. Subtract 7, we get y equals 1. So remember, y equals 1. And we can go ahead and put in y equals 1 here and get x plus 6 equals 8, so x equals 2. So our answer is 2 comma 1. OK, solve using substitution. So we're not adding or subtracting equations. We're solving for one variable and plugging into the other. So we'll say y equals, subtract 7x from both sides, 1 minus 7x. We'll then put 1 minus 7x into this y. So we'll get 8x plus 2 times 1 minus 7x equals 8. We'll give us 8x plus 2, we have to distribute the 2 in, so we get minus 14x equals 8. This will give us 8x minus 14x is negative 6x plus 2 equals 8. Negative, subtract 2 from both sides, negative 6x equals 6. Divide by negative 6, you get x equals negative 1. So remember that x equals negative 1. Plug that in there. We get negative 7 
plus y equals 1, and you get y equals 8. So negative 1, comma, 8. OK. Elimination. That means we add these equations together. These cancel out. We get 5y equals 10. Divide both sides. We get y by 5. We get y equals 2. Remember y equals 2. Plug it in here. We get 2x plus 4 equals 2. 2x equals negative 2. x equals negative 1. So negative 1, comma, 2. All right, elimination. We'll add these equations together. These will cancel out. We'll get 9x, or get eliminated, if you will. The y's get eliminated. So we get x equals 1. We go back. We say x equals 1. We plug that in here. That gives us 7 plus y equals 2. So that gives us subtract two, 7 from both sides. y equals negative 5. So we get 1 comma negative 5. OK, we're going to eliminate. These will get eliminated because y and negative y cancel out. We get 4x equals 8. We divide both sides by 2. We get x equals 2. So then we will have 2 minus y equals 4. Subtract 2 from both sides. Negative y equals 2 y equals negative 2. So we said x was 2 and y was negative 2. OK, substitution. So that's different. We're going to solve for, let's solve for x. We can solve for either. So x equals 2 minus y. We'll subtract y from both sides. And then we'll plug this in for here. So we'll get 2 minus y plus 6y equals 7, which will give us 2 plus 5y equals 7, which will give us 5y equals 5, or y equals 1. So remember, y equals 1, then say x plus 1 equals 2, subtract 1 from both sides, x equals 1. So x and y both equal 1, 1 comma 1. OK, substitution. So we'll solve for the y here. I'm looking for the thing that doesn't have a coefficient, so that's the easiest thing to isolate y, subtract 2x from both sides, y equals 4 minus 2x. I'll then go ahead and stick that in here. So I'll get 7x plus 2 times 4 minus 2x equals 8. That'll be 7x distribute plus 8 minus 8x equals 8. Then I will get negative x, because the 7x and the 8 minus 8x become negative x, plus 8 equals 8. Then I will get, I'll move it here, subtract 8 from both sides, I get negative x equals 0, or x equals 0. That's a nice one.
So x equals 0. But that means this will just go away, and we just get y equals 4. So x equals 0, and y equals 4. OK, last one. Substitution. y, subtract 6x from both sides, equals 6 minus 6x. So we'll go ahead and put 6 minus 6x there. We'll get 8x plus 7 times 6 minus 6x equals 8. Go ahead and write 8x plus 42 minus 42x equals 8. So 8x minus 42x is negative 34x plus 42 equals 8. This will give us negative 34x. Subtract 42 from both sides. We'll get negative 34. So x, divide both sides by negative 34, they're the same, so you get x equals 1. If x equals 1, that gives us a nice answer. We get 6 plus y equals 0, but then guess what, guys? Subtract 6 from both sides, and you get y. Sorry, 6 plus x equals 6. Subtract 6 from both sides, you get y equals 0. So x equals 1, y equals 0. All right, get to practicing substitution and elimination, and I will see you next time.